Thank you so much to our amazing panelists. And uh, from a panel again to keynote. Our next keynote will be, I believe, also pretty insightful and exciting for our audience. So how fancy bears metaverse broke the internet and began the era of NFT 2.0. Find out about NFTs 2.0. I'm glad I'll gladly invite to the stage Bartek Sibiga, co-founder at Fanadise. Please give him a big hand. Today we will be speaking about the future. I know some of you might not don't know what NFT is already, and I will be talking about NFT 2.0. But yeah, let's let's go on. So we as human get used to buy physical goods. You know, we're buying stuff like cars, clothing, watches, and, and this is usual for us. But it's getting boring because now it's much better if you buy some pixelated art for a million of bucks or some kind of apes. And I own one of this. I, I paid for it uh, over 200K and I will never, never sell it. And uh, it's not only one I got, like we got over 15 of apes uh, with, with my uh, co-founder. And it's not only also us who own those apes, because there's Jimmy Fallon, there's Justin Bieber, there's Neymar, Post Malone, so CEOs, athletes, all the guys who, who are like celebrities, they're all aping in. And the question is, why are they doing it? So why people are buying things that doesn't exist in physical world? Like, why? They do it, and why? What's more, what's, it, what's more important? Why you all will be buying digital goods in the future? So we can start with some statistic, and this is we spend more and more time on social media. Uh, like average for Generation Z is 4.5 hour, uh, and this is without Netflix and gaming. It is just social media. So we spend more time on social media than with our friends, which means we connect more in the internet than we connect in real life. And that's why the social media are becoming so important for us. And there's a next study which is saying that over 60% of Generation Z and millennials, uh, they believe that how you present online is more important than how you present in, in person, in real life. So this is like totally crazy. And this brings us to conclusion that things like, things like verification badge on Instagram, Twitter, or, or TikTok are getting really viable. Even though they don't exist in real life, the people can pay a lot of money for this. Same with number of followers. We all know brands who are spending a lot of money to get followers. So this is like a real example of the proof that there are things which are purely digital, but they are really viable. And you know, wh wh I'm speaking about this because we are not only collectors. We, we created our own project and we want to shape the future of NFT. So I will shortly describe myself. I'm uh, the founder of the biggest uh, agency, marketing agency in Central Eastern Europe, which is called DDOB. So we work with Samsung, L'Oreal, Alibaba, AliExpress, all those brands. And my co-founder, Jacob, he's somewhere over there. Uh, he's the e-commerce king. Like, this guy is killing it in e-commerce. Uh, he's sending 100,000 clothes uh, every year. And we wanted to revolutionize the space, so we created Fancy Bears. Fancy Bears is an NFT project. We sold out 8,000 of them in eight minutes. And then Forbes, Forbes called us the Board A Biach Club of, of, of Europe, which was pretty cool. And there's also a lot of celebrities joining us. You got, this bear is the Floyd Mayweather one. The second one is Stan Wawrinka, so Olympic gold medalist. We also got the crypto bear. But you know, the main thing is, it's really cool to be called by Forbes Borde Biach Club of Europe, but this is not our final goal. We want to innovate in this space. We want to revolutionize the space. And that's why we created something, what we called NFT uh, 2.0. Oh, there is no sound. It's supposed to be here, but you can still see. It's not good, there is no sound, but. Okay, so, so what is it about? 
On this slide, you can see something which those are smart contracts. And generally, I, I know you don't understand them. But what you can see here is we are connecting a lot of smart contracts together. So they are all depending on each other. And this is something which, which is like really changing the world. And, but let's go step by step. So let's make it easier. So we are using three different standard of tokens, uh, ERC721, uh, ERC1155. So ERC71, those are bears and jars. So, so also Board ABI Club is ERC721. Then we got ERC1155, which are those new trades. So the new trades you can apply on your bear. So you can use ERC1155, uh, ERC1155 token to put it on ERC721. I know it sounds a bit complicated, but this is really something which, which we are innovating here. And this is like a core stuff on the blockchain. And then we also got ERC20, uh, which is our honey token. Uh, and this honey token is the heart of this whole ecosystem. So what it means in practical, you can have a bear, you can spend the honey, you can upgrade the hut, then you can spend another honey, and you can upgrade something else. This is the app which is not released yet. It's going to be on, on Tuesday, next Tuesday, so a week from now. And you can see a bear which is changing far trades, so you can see before and after. So to sum up, we are using different standard of tokens. We are connecting them in the way it was never done before, and we call it NFT. 2.0. What I show to you, it is just the phase one. So in phase two, we will also introduce a DeFi system like staking uh, and other stuff. And the phase three and phase four, it's yet to be announced. It is still top secret. But I can just say that we're going to connect this system also to other NFT projects. And the honey is the heart of whole fancy bear ecosystem. Uh, the honey list listing is coming in two weeks. Uh, there's a lot of honey utilities, but I don't have time to go into details. What you just need to understand is how we're using this uh, honey ecosystem in our app. So there's a distribution. So this is how we distribute the honey tokens to the holders. And it can be an airdrop. So once you hold an a fancy bear, he got tokens inside, and the NFT is a key to the vesting contract. Then we got a bear, like bear can produce more honey. This will be in phase two. So this is staking. And then you can buy the token as well on the market. And then we got the redistribution. So how you can invest those tokens into your NFT again. And this is by upgrading your bear, level upping. This is by buying new trades, which you can keep or sell on OpenSea. And this is also, there will be really important utility in phase three. I can just say it is a marketplace, but I cannot really say what it is about. And yeah, each NFT can be level up. So you are changing the graphic, you are upgrading the bear, you are putting new trades, but you are also level upping. With those level up, you can produce more honey in the future. Uh, you, can la you can get a better access to our launchpad and also our partner's launchpad. And you can buy, have an access to buy a new, better NFTs. So one more time, this is the heart of the honey ecosystem. And for now, it is working for Fancy Bears community. But really soon, it will be also introduced to other NFT projects. So we will really soon onboard them. And Fancy Bears are not only about NFT 2.0. Even though this is like the most important stuff, because this is a true revolution, we got other benefits. So we got the DAO. 30% of royalties from secondary market are going to the DAO. We got a Free the scanner. This is a hardware technology. So we get the scanner with 200 cameras. You go inside, and we create an av the digital metaverse avatar of yourself, which is crazy. And all the bears got it for free. Then we got events. I'm really good in organizing events. If, if you want to check it out on yourself, you just need to join us. Uh, then we got the free merch, we got a lottery. In April, you will be able to win a Ferrari. So there's free Ferrari for one bear holder. It is happening in April. You just need to hold the bear, and you get a chance to win it. Uh, then we're going to make another token airdrop. So we got a music label. Uh, as well, we're doing more and more NFT drops. And 
Yeah, NFT 2.0 is the most important part in this whole benefit because that, that's something that was never done before. Like no one before us didn't connect all these token standard and create like one ecosystem on this. But what I personally think is the most important about Fancy Bears is that all the girls love Fancy Bears and there's even a song about it so we can hear it on Spotify and Apple Music and I'm not kidding. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much.